for it here. And this, as you might be able to see from the picking out, it's my Spellbinders Order. Um, title says it's a uh, die craft, die cutting sale haul. I really should number these hauls because I'm just coming up with tiles, but whatever. It's some, um, I, I don't even know which number hole this is. But anyway, I think this is order number eight. Maybe. Anyway, so that's besides the point. Uh, I will just quickly take out the uh, packing slip since it does have my address on it. I ordered this on the 20th of February, which is now 29th. Of course, this video is going to be up in April, so that doesn't really matter. But that's how long it took to ship, anyway, if you wonder. So, it does not have the prices on this, unfortunately, so I can't tell you that. But I actually did order. You know, these titles are wrong. Um, the Glimmer Essential Solid Floral Reflection Glimmer Hot Foil Plate from the Floral Reflection Collection, but it was refunded. So I guess they had served, they didn't uh, take it off in time, or someone else bought it for me, or whatever, I have no clue. Anyway, during this uh, I took the option to get the Postage Edge Collection, basically. The uh, postage, ed postage Edge Shapes Collection by Becca. Beacon? Beacon? F-E-E-K-E-N. I don't know how to pronounce your name, sorry. Um, but, these are what I got. And luckily this, yes, this envelope is a nice one because it is the recyclable one. Now they just do it now. I mean, technically, I could keep this, but I do have a surplus of these things. I mean, you know, for my uh, my gel printing, I'm going to do eventually. I do. I do think I have one squirreled away for that, just in case. But um. So well, for now, I'll just put this up here. I might use it, I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, I'll start off with the smallest thing first, because it's right there on top. Here is the sealed confetti from the uh, sealed collection. What was the collection called? Uh, sealed confetti etched dies from the sealed by Spellbinders collection. Hmm. Anyway, I got this confetti one. It's a lot smaller than I was for some reason thinking, but um, there are two shapes, two sizes of circles. The bigger one and the slightly smaller one. And well, I have, you know, some nice cardstock, and I don't want, I don't really like sequins that have holes in the middle, you know, the glue just comes out, you know, so I thought I'd make my own. This, hopefully that'll be a good enough size, but we'll see. I was hoping, you know, slightly bigger, like, you know, well, I think this emboss here, is the same as this embossing folder, I think. What a coincidence. This was from the admin calendar, by the way. Maybe that was just this point. Maybe that's, I believe that's what it is. It also has a bone wrap, too. Anyway, that's, yeah. And it's the um, S1 061, if you were wondering. So that's this one. Uh, next up, we have the Shape Abilities Feathers Etched Dies. I like feathers. 
and feathered wings. That's how you say it, I guess, because wings if you have, you know, dragon wings, which is kind of like you have leather wings, I kind of like bat wings. Personally, I prefer the feather kind. I don't know, fluffy, and it's fine. <laughs> that is so beside the point, but I do like it. And also, for this one, it looks like, you know, a crow pet. So, like, I can use it if I have, like, a uh, text stamp in the background, or I don't have an ink bottle. Or, or a scroll or anything. Who is she looking to? I don't know if they even made any of those. But uh, they have dyes of those and go well with this, at least this one. Possibly this one too. But I do like feathers. Don't ask me why. I have no idea. I like feathers. I like new script font. Goes well with it as well. Very nice. And like all these lines on the inside is like the uh, embossed things to make it look realistic. Alright, so yes, so that's that one. Coming at uh, S4 428, if you were wondering. Hmm. Whatever. Um, now on to the... What did I call it? Postage and sh Shapes Collection. I got all of them. All of them. <laughs> so here we have the Postage and Circles. So we have... You know... No, I did say I probably wouldn't, because I did get those scissors, but it's not as reliable for, you know, especially cutting in a circle, or, you know, so, here's the circles, here's the ovals, oh yeah, and, um, S5-539, and there are eight in this one. Because it's got kind of like, um, it's not cutting, but it's like a kind of, it's not like a stitchy either, it's more circles. You know, you see the, like the second in the one? Like the circle one? They're like, Make indents, like circle indents. Not like a stitch kind of thing. Anyway, there's eight cutting dies in this one. And there is six cutting dies in the oval. And they have circles on them as well. And this is S5548. The numbers, they actually don't all line up. We got 3948 mm, Anyway, I guess if we're going by collection, maybe this one next. I mean, it doesn't really matter because I'm actually gonna put them away like this, but the S5 538 which comes for this one, would be the squares. There are eight in here, and it is circles as well. A little ridge. Uh, personally, I don't know if I'd actually put these, those ones, or not. I'm not sure. But anyway, I'd probably more use the... the um, the dashes than circles, but these only have the circles. But anyway, it doesn't really matter. The dashes are stitched. That's how it's normally referred to, isn't it? And stitched is that. Not that it really matters. But it's like really easy to just deal with the craft method. But it's squares. 
And there are eight in here, like the other one. And eight, nine, and these ones, 40, 41, 48. So, the ovals, as I already said. This has six. Next up is the spoon line. Which is just very long rectangles. And that, that's 5-541. And there are six in here. You know, I don't have any card blanks that are this size of spoon line. I think I cut them in half when I need them. Uh, yeah, so I'll have to make some more. Okay, and then here is the rectangles. These are have eight cutting dies. So the circle, square, and rectangle have eight, and the oval and slim line have six. And this probably indicated before, this is S5-540. Yes, that is, that is everything. Not a very, very, very big haul, so technically I think I, in total it was like, uh, including tax now, uh, 109, and of course minus 9 pounds something to refund the glimmer plate that is refunded. So that's, whatever that is, I said it math, mental math anyway. So I'm not going to try. Um, but yeah. That is everything. If you're interested, it's very unfortunate that I was refunded because I was on my list. <clears throat> I, I I have a a solid um hot foil plate checklist for some odd reason. Because I have that one and the circle that's on my to get list. And I probably won't do the rectangle because I, I mean, if I didn't do the rectangle already. Because I have the, um, what is it? Pinkfresh Studios huge rectangle. But anyway, that's besides the point. I'm, Looking forward to trying out these. I haven't actually done anything yet, I've just been buying craft supplies. And I still need to clean my desk. Because like this is the only space that I have, but I need to move bits off here. And because if you if you see that's my pins I need to put away. A whole, a whole uh, little mummy bucket of them. <laughs> like this is over here, which I need to clean some more. I've got my cardstock that I recently got over here. So I did make one step. I've got black, craft, and white card blank I did make. So I'm going to dec decorate some sometime. The question is, is this the right angle? Or was it this one? I don't know. Okay, well we'll say it's this one. Um, <clears throat> so, I was rambling uh, unnecessarily. Okay, so thank you for watching. And for some odd reason, I uh, I like the postage, you know, thing, shape, you know? I still need to get the, I guess, a, a kind of postage one, but it's, you know, 
in this rectangle that's all connected for a ticket. Ticket one that has perforated things you can tear off. I don't know. That's on my ticket list. Anyway, thank you for watching. Over.